Hello my friends, Len Mooney here coming to you from my home office uh, in Baja, California overlooking the beautiful Pacific Ocean. I take you out and show you the ocean this afternoon but it's a little stormy out there. Hey, I got a question for you. Would you like to have your own blog or website but you don't know where to begin? Uh, you, you'd, you'd like to do it quickly, you'd like to do it inexpensively, you don't know anything about the technology, you're really a newbie, you don't know what button to push, you don't know who to call, you don't want to spend a thousand dollars and spend two or three months to get something that doesn't look like what you preferred in the first place. You'd like to be able to do your own experimenting with uh, how things look and maybe move things around a little bit and try some stuff out, but you know absolutely nothing. I'm going to show you how you can get a blog in one two, three clicks of your mouse. That's right, three mouse clicks, and you can have your own blog up and running. And with a few more clicks, you can customize it to make it look like anything you want. Let me show you how. You stay right there. I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna start exploring the setup of MLSP sites. And what I'm doing now is I'm simply logging into MLSP and we're going to go to the sites setup. It's under my websites, new MLSP sites beta. There it is. Now there's a little getting started video here which tells you to do the three things that we're going to do in just a moment and I'm just going to do them here. MLSP sites, click here to toggle instructions. There's not much to say. It says follow the three simple steps below to get your blog set up. First, the login username. Uh, that's what we're going to use to log into uh, the back office of our MLSP sites blog. It's uh, our MLSP sites username. It, it will be your admin username to log in, update, and post content to your new blog. And we're not going to be able to change it. And their, their recommendation is to just use your MLSP username uh, followed by WP. And I see no reason to change that. This is not something anyone else is ever going to see. And I think I can remember my name WP. The next is the blog subdomain. Now the subdomain is what goes in front of MLSPsites.com and we can call this anything we want and again it gives us the instruction to carefully consider what we want to put here because we're not going to be able to change it but I don't know of any reason want to want to change it either in the future. I, I don't know that there's any really important consideration so I'll just leave that alone as well. And finally, enter an initial blog title, and I'm going to call it Lens Blog. And uh, it says that we can change this anytime we want. So let's just call it Lens Blog for the minute and see what happens here. We click Create New Blog. And uh, obviously, the system is thinking successfully set it up, and there we go. So now we have our login credentials. Uh, the, uh, the username is Len Mooney WP, and we can see what our password is. So each of our sites will be listed here for our reference. The site link is MLSPSites.com, and the admin link is that. So I think the admin link is probably where I want to go first. So let me go there, and there we are. Now this looks like we'll save it. This looks like any WordPress back office. There are posts. I don't know if there's any posts already up or not. Hello world. Imagine that. <laughs> We've seen that before. Pages. Let's look at pages. See what's there. There's probably a page called sample page. Imagine that. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of other things. Now what's interesting is that there is also a, a large list of plugins. Uh, this is pretty impressive, actually. Uh, and, uh, you know, this is like, wow, we're going to have to go through and take a look at all that stuff. But let's go out and see what the blog itself looks like. We'll visit the site. And uh, it's, not, it's not very uh, impressive right at this moment, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to have to choose a theme for the site. So let me go back to the dashboard and we'll go back to appearance, we'll go back to themes and the default theme is the MLSP uh, simple and it says it's active. 
So let's leave the MLSP simple theme active for the moment, but let me just point out to you that all these other different themes, sorry about that button push, all these other different themes, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24, 24 different themes are here. And if we want to activate a different theme, all we got to do is click on it, do a live preview, and do activate, and change, change the theme. It's that simple. And with the MLSP simple theme, it's really quite a powerful theme. It does almost anything we really want to do, at least in the beginning of building, building up our own website or blog. And we can go into the theme, we can customize it, we can add headers, we can add pictures, and we can do several other things. Now I just showed you a minute ago what our blog post looked like. It wasn't very impressive. I'm going to take you back and show it to you right now. And what you're going to see is that it looks a whole lot different. And the reality is all I've done is I've, up, I've uploaded an, an image, I've uploaded a picture and a couple of other things, and I put in my first real blog post, uploaded a video, put in a picture, and uh, some other stuff. So the reality is with three mouse clicks, we created the blog, and then with a little bit more of effort, we made it look a whole lot better and you can just start blogging away to your little heart's content. So there's a link on this page somewhere depending on where you're seeing this video either below the video or above it or in the blog post that uh, you can click on and get further information about MLSP and MLSP sites. So <laughs> click on the link go check it out. We'll talk again. This is Lynn. Bye for now. Thank you.